Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Cloud here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And today, we'll be trying to make our way to Mauville City and getting a phone call from Isabel. Oh, she's got a match card. Yo, same. But anyways, uh, if you're lost where we are, I will link the playlist in the description below. Please get caught up. I love all the support that I do get on this channel, and I hope it will continue with all of you here. But for now, let's do this double battle. I'm just ready to get started in this. I'm actually starting like really excited every time I record, and I just want to keep playing and playing. Alright, what a great start. Oh, by the way, guys, happy Valentine's Day. If you didn't know that. I really hope you did, though. If you spend it with the significant other, have a good day. If you don't, then tomorrow, candy is like 50% off. So, enjoy. I should I have left in our Oh man. Alright, um I'll get Scarlet some experience right here. I was actually kind of scary there for a second. I thought I was going to lose an Argle. That's why an Argle needs, like, water pulse or something like that. I'm basically just taking away one turn from this slack off right now. Oh, I guess we could do the trick house today. That'd be a lot of fun. So, hopefully by the end of the episode, we will make it to Mobile City. But if we don't, then we can always do it next time. Just trying to have some fun right here. Oh, there's another double battle right there. Not getting caught up like that. I see you there. I'm trying to bait me into it. You're asking me how I get in here. How did you get in here? You don't even have the first gym badge. Facing more gods. That's a really scary team. Alrighty then. Um. I'm pretty sure Polyroth doesn't get anything good right now. So. in case, though. I feel like he gets, like, water gun hypnosis, double slap. And... Something else that I cannot remember right now. I don't think he gets a fighting type, though, I'm pretty sure. Double slap, water gun, Hypnosis. Third move that I can't remember. There we go. Hmm. I feel like with Scarlet's help, I can 
probably take out the Polyrath. Yep. Thank you. Polyrath will not show that fourth move. Actually, it's only two of his moves. But I'm fairly confident about the other ones. Hmm. Scarlet. Now, I'm pretty sure Scarlet won't evolve into like the 30s, but I'm fully okay with having her here until then. The only member on the team that's kind of a little iffy right now is a Nargle. Just because I'm not sure how useful she's really going to be in the long run. Now, the slacking really likes his sleep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. Slacking would be such a scary Pokemon if you took away Truant. I mean, I'm glad we don't, but still. You end up with some weird combinations of people who do double battles together. Like sometimes it's like a sister, or two sisters, or a bro and sis, or wife and uh, husband. There we go. But sometimes you get like a rocker and karate guy. And that's like a more interesting combination than what you would normally see. Kind of like whenever you're walking through the street, and it's like, those are two opposite people, and they're together. Isn't that interesting? Ooh. Where is my King Drat? Oop, Sea Drat. I need a map of hidden items. Yeah, I should be fine through the trick house. Easy. Oh, but the question is, I guess. So, would you rather get three wishes in 10 years or get one wish today so what I would like to do is I would take the wish right now and I would get an unlimited supply of legal money so that if any problems really come up in the future I can solve it pretty easily like I probably work it like every time I start running low on money or feel like I want or need more money, I just win the lottery again or something like that. Endless supply of money. Oh, what's up with that, Nancy? Come on, we don't need to deal with this. Oh, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys would do with those wishes. Look, time gets super sunny. I did not know that. Come on, you got this, Nancy. Oh, Nancy, come on. What are you doing with yourself? You're letting it set up on you. Oh, there you go. Take that thing down. Credit. Why am I missing so much? I think it's really bulking up on me. Jeez. Um... I'll believe in Scarlet. That's kind of annoying. Got this, Scarlet. Yeah. Scarlet's gonna be my clutch card. Especially once she gets confusion. 
the Scarlet, you got this. Oh. Sorry, this is only like your second battle. You got this. I believe in you. See, look at that. Like time to sleep, you got it right here. Break that confusion. Yeah. That did nothing. Oh my gosh. Um, I could curse up and tackle, but it just feels like such a waste right now. Uh, I'll just do this the easy way. Oh wow. Don't paralyze me. This ended up being like a lot harder than it needed to be. It's kind of sad that Lick Tongue bodied my team so well. Like, all they're doing is Defense Curl and Supersonic. Alright, let's go off this. All the way through. And hit that level 20 mark. Telling you guys, Scarlet is going to be clutch in this. Pretty sure it goes away. It is interesting that, like, this tree down here, like, just doesn't seem, like, it's not useful, it doesn't really do anything, it's just there. They could easily put, like, another wall in there and nothing would have really changed. You're not dodging a train or anything, it's just there. So you can have, like, another thing to destroy, I guess? I don't know, game designers are weird. Like, I was watching this versus yesterday, and listening to these guys say, like, how uh, Kanto was just so, like, wasn't done the best in Gold and Silver. Especially in, like, Fuchsia City, where they basically just covered up the Safari Zone because they ran out of space on the cartridge. And they just did it, like, really lazily and just kind of put white blocks over it. It's not bashing on them doing it in general, it's like the certain little things they did. But then they corrected it in Heart Gold Soul Silver, and we're mostly okay with that. Please don't burn me, Ninetales. I can't, like, water you or let you to get more damage on you. There we go, wasting term safeguard. That's what I like to see. Like I'm gonna use Yawn right now when you're about to die. That'd actually be a really smart play though, if like you yawn someone and they used safeguard. Like I think that would make it not work, but I'm not completely sure. Hmm. I don't feel like Voltorb gets an electric type move, but because I don't want to lose anyone else right now, we're gonna switch out. Surrey is definitely my backup. 
for just about everything. That charge really helped you with your tackle. That's like, that's basically what Spark is. Is you charging yourself up and then tackling them. With very strange choices whenever it comes to these things. Like, how do you make a new move? Basically combining two moves. Like, if you really think about it, that's what it is. I think of all the, like, legend moves, I guess, when I think about that. Like, if you think of Mew, it's like, it's, its signature move is Transform. Which only one other Pokemon can do, obviously because they're a failed Mew clone. Ooh, that could be good. Or, I think of another thing. I guess Aeroblast is basically like a flying type hyper beam that only Lugia can do. Not counting like Metronome or something like that. Hmm. I think they're more like this. Like, I guess, like. I can think of like Fusion Flare, I guess. And. That reminds me a lot of. I like Flare Blitz. But you like take away the recoil. moves. Um, hmm. Dragon Descent, which that's basically like, I think it's like Dragon Rush and Brave Bird together. I think there are a lot of good examples of this, but I can't think of them all right now. Focusing mainly on legends, but I'm sure they're like regular moves that are like this. There's defense, and I'm sure Mr. Mimes. Well, that might be the way I'm gonna have to beat it. It's doing that. Oh my goodness. Uh, please don't tell me I'm about to get bodied by Mr. Mime. Oh my gosh. I'm about to get bodied by Mr. Mime. The fence is all the way up. So I just, why do I keep miss? Oh, Pidgeotto, you sand attack, that's right. I just don't know what its fourth move is, but it's already terrifying. There we go. Oh my gosh. Um, Substitute is probably the only way I'm going to actually beat this thing. Does Mr. Mime even have an attacking move right now? Kinda need to check this now. Again. Um, this thing is terrifying.
Oh, it has confusion. So it just beefed itself up for nothing. I didn't feel like it have an attacking move. It would make any sense for Mr. Mime to have like a physical move right now. Did that just get a crit on me? No. Oh my gosh, alright. That must have really not been paying attention. Mr. Mime is such a monster. I hate saying that. Early Mr. Mime is just... If he had something to back up his confusion, then he'd be actually scary right now. That's... Egotistical. Don't worry, Trickmaster, we'll be back when we get Rock Smash. I'll teach someone. and I went towards the Pokemon Center out that way. Types, but still, it's a war turtle. It's gonna bite me. Yeah. Can I run now? Thank you. I mean, it's not a bad item, it's just not like that good of an item. Scarlet's training right here. I'm sure this spinner is me a full level right now. I really can't hate on Spinarak's design, it's just really well done. I think this nailed like just that spider essence they were going for, they just nailed it. Like it looks enough like a spider that we know what it is. And it's just enough different that you feel like it's not like a normal spider from what we see. I'm over explaining this, but that's okay. Oh darn, it licked me. Oh darn, I'm paralyzed. Oh, nope. As soon as you start making fun of it is when you get paralyzed. I'm gonna keep a curse on Scarlet for quite a while. If it really comes in handy, then I will definitely use it. Don't you leave me on a para. Alright. Look, it does paralyze, doesn't it? I feel like there's actually a pretty good high chance of being paralyzed.
Dang, there's Abra here too? Oh no, I can't escape from the thing that's going to escape from me. Such a dumb mechanic. Cool. One last ball I have to fight. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the rival fight. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So, how about a little battle? Oh, that's a Charizard. Um, that Ember did 10 and it was resisted. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Like, my Pokemon grew stronger. Let's have a quick battle with my Charizard. I can't believe she leads Charizard in this. This will probably be my level. Let's not start this, please. Thank you. No crit, no crit. That's a crit. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I healed, but jeez. Here's my love. My goodness. Oh, and nice fusion. Awesome. Um, if we get tackled, then what's the point of curse? Let's see if I invent another move for it. Stop listening to that. That beeping is just so much incentive to return your Pokemon. Alright, whenever I look at myself in May, I'm not like, that much above her. So I feel like I should be basically on par with the gym trainers. That would have taken out without that ground. Okay, I'm actually on par with her ace. Oh gosh, I forgot Mr. was head sideways. Uh, okay. Definitely gonna swap it out though. No need to take that risk. Pretty sure sideways is one that like has varying damage, so I don't wanna take that risk. Rose trash right there. Gotta take that Yix you share off. No flinch. Oh my gosh. We stop. Thank you. Alright. 
Doc, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. This is for me. An item that I'll never use. That's an item finder. Try it out. If there's an item that's not visible, it emits a sound. Okay, Doc, let's meet again. I know it's a little silly coming from me, but I think you should train a lot harder for next time. Man, I wish I had a bike. Oh no, whatever will I do against this Abra? Ah! Uh, I'm definitely gonna make it to Mallville today, and then we'll probably call it on that. But we still have... I think like... Three or four trainers. I'm not really gonna skip on them, because I don't want to come back through here. Or maybe I do, because I... Maybe I actually will. Maybe yeah, I will skip on them, because... I can see what my encounters are in the future episodes, and decide if I want to try to remake a team. Oh, look. It's, uh... Oh, man, I don't remember what I named you. Dang. But I caught one of you. That's one of what I was saying. This grass is so annoying. Any kind of repel. Please, like... Oh, I have one super oh, okay, thank you. There's no way I can get past that, so... Yep. I guess like maybe if you fought the guy on the left without making a move and then you went right in front of them. Dang. I don't know it's some heat. Slower than a blast was. That's just kind of sad. Oh, I didn't get to take the, the XP share off. A one shot. Yeah. There we go. No, what? No. I'm not about that metagame. Okay, let's get that EXP share off of Scarlet. And just I'm a little bit curious, what are Scarlet's stats like? Your attack is so much higher because you're adamant. Money! We're just gonna try to run right up here. Alright guys, we're going to cut it off right here, so if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe my video. And if you wish to know when they go up, you can follow my Twitter, which will be linked in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.